in undergraduate physics laboratory course besides performing some classic physics experiments such as Frankhurst experiment, diffraction rating spectrometer, Fresnel by prism, we encourage our students to get an idea of how real research is conducted. We uh, ask them to form groups and come up with research proposals that eventually gets reviewed by the discipline faculty and once approved, the students pursue those projects under the supervision of the same faculty. They are required to participate uh, in a poster session at the end of the semester where faculty and students from other disciplines are invited to give their suggestions and feedback on the projects. We offer a very small amount of uh, financial support from the discipline to each of these project groups and the students are highly encouraged to reach out to other disciplines for help and collaboration and make the best use of the facilities that are available in the laboratory. Hello. So the aim of our project is to measure the mass of microscopic objects using the principle of interference of light. So this is a set setup which we made from scratch in the uh, mechanical lab and this is the laser and the light then goes through the magnifying glass into the beam splitter. The beam splitter splits, splits the light into two beams. One beam goes into the mirror over here as you can see and the other beam goes down and both of them are reflected and in the end uh, going through the beam splitter it forms an interference pattern upon the screen over here so now, right now there is no mass on the, uh, this is the lever setup which we have used right now there is no mass on the lever but uh, uh, after this we will put some mass over here some microscopic mass like a, a grain of salt or a human hair and that will cause some change in the uh, position of the lever over here but we cannot, we will not be able to see that change because that will be very small as the mass is very small. So we use the uh, concept of interference of light. Due to the path difference, the interference pattern formed on the screen will change and that will, uh, that will be not be visible clearly, but we will use the principle of interference of light to calculate that and using a special formula, we can calculate the mass of the object. Our project is based on paper-based microfluidic chip. So usually what happens when you pour a drop of a liquid over a sheet of paper, it, it spills in every direction, right? But we aim to avoid that spilling and wanted to control the flow of liquid in a particular direction in a straight line on a sheet of paper. So yeah, now we have made that uh, chip. Now we are testing it with different colors. So this is microfluidic uh, mixer. Now we'll put four colors in four different channels and they'll come together and mix. So here we go with yellow color, with orange, and then with blue. Now the same, uh, now the similar application can also be like uh, uh, acid-based test reactions. Here we have put phenolphthalein in, in the junction, and we are moving NaOH through the channel. Now Na, now NaOH uh, will reach to the junction and show the show its pink color when it will react with the phenolphthalein. So the, there can be lot of applications, especially in the medical. So the, the blood test can be primarily be employed using uh, these kind of chips and it is being done widely.